And this morning in the kitchen, as everybody knows, it's a little too snowy for our guests to come in, but that is not going to stop us from having a great dish on the menu. So get ready. We're all heading over to Nick Raybar's house where he is making something delicious. Nick. Good morning, guys, and thank you so much. Listen, my name might not be Petraka, but one thing's for certain, it's a snow day. So I'm at home today making a great recipe, and I have my number one assistant, my son, Wynn, is here. Wynn, say good morning to everybody. Good morning, everybody. What are we making today, buddy? Brussels sprouts. We're making Brussels sprouts. Caesar-style Brussels sprouts with pancetta and Parmesan. Now, to do that, we have a few simple ingredients. We have garlic, right? Dijon mustard, Parmesan cheese, lemon juice, salt, Pepper, olive oil, right? Well, how are we gonna make Brussels sprouts that I just leave? <laughs> I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, and actually, you're the one that's gonna help me out, buddy. So take this whisk, and you're gonna start whisking. I'm gonna put in some of this fresh chopped garlic, and then a little Dijon mustard. All right, start whisking that together. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna add a little lemon juice. Not lemonade, but lemon juice. You're doing great, pal. All right, whisk. Whisk that, I know you love lemonade. Whisk that up. You're doing so great. I'm gonna put in some Parmesan cheese. So Caesar has a couple of traditional ingredients. Garlic, olive oil, lemon juice. You can do anchovies if you want, black pepper. Some people add Worcestershire. We're using just a couple of very simple ingredients. When you're doing so well. Let's go in with the olive oil, okay? So when you make a dressing, you usually do one part acid to three parts of oil. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's the acids of lemon juice in this, and then we have a little bit of olive oil. Now that is coming together so perfectly, and the reason it's coming together so perfectly is because Wynn is whisking it constantly. If he doesn't whisk it constantly, it might separate. So you're doing a great job, buddy. Thank you. Doing a great job. Do you like cooking at home with me? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you don't know. I think you, you're well, a Well, it's my first time, so I <laughs> <laughs> I think you're a chef in the making. A little fresh cracked pepper and a pinch of kosher salt. All right, man, that's good there. So we can stop doing that. All right, you did it absolutely perfect. Now, we pre-roasted the Brussels sprouts 450 degrees for about 15 minutes so they look nice and charred like that. And then we're gonna go in, or go on top rather, with some of that delicious Caesar dressing. So, Wynn's famous Caesar dressing. What? Wins famous Caesar dressing. Why is it mine? You're the one who came up with it. No, Caesar Cardini came up with it in the 40s. Uh, we're just the ones making it today. Oh. All right, I crisped up a little pancetta. Okay, just put a mm -hmm. few of those. Some fresh shaved Parmesan. And I've got just a little bit of parsley leaves to brighten it up. So, simplicity at its finest. A couple of ingredients. If you don't have them at home, don't go out in the snow and risk anything just to get them. Make them on Friday, make them on Saturday, make them anytime. And what do we always say when we're done cooking? Keep on cooking. Keep on cooking. Back to you.